Hey everybody, Jim here. Welcome back to another video and to another community question. Today's question is, what is the better beat-em-up? Is it TMNT Shredder's Revenge or is it Streets of Rage 4? I wanted to make this video because I actually posed this exact same question on Twitter not too long ago and got a ton of responses, like way more than my little Twitter page. Uh, usually would elicit and it seemed like people had a pretty strong opinion uh, on the topic so I thought it'd be interesting to make this video and get the opinions of you uh, the viewing audience so do let me know down in the comments what do you think is the better beat em up and just like last time I got a bunch of my friends from around YouTube to join me today and to share their opinion on the topic so we're gonna hear from all of them and then I will come back at the end of the video and tell you what I think. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get started with today's first guest is the happy console gamer himself, Johnny Millennium. Thanks for having me on, Jim. And I gotta say, I'm not loving it right now. I'm not loving it because you're putting me in a heck of a predicament. You're making me choose sides. And they always say you should not do this with your children. You should not do this sometimes with video games. And you want me to choose which one I like better. And that is, do I like Shredder's Revenge more than I like Streets of Rage 4? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, I've been sitting thinking about this all week and I'm like, how am I gonna do this video? Because of course I like both games and I will pick a winner today. I will pick a winner. Both games really mean a lot to me because they are a resurgence of their older counterparts. Some are arcade games, some are older games on the Sega Genesis, and Streets of Rage was such a great beat-em-up style of game. We all adored it. It's legendary now, isn't it? With music by Yuzo Koshiro, unbelievable stuff. And then we get a resurgence with Shredder's Revenge, using all of the characters, playing multiplayer with everybody. Which one do I prefer? This is hard because I tell you, back in 1984, 1985, my mom at the time took me downtown and I picked up a comic book, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I fell in love with this franchise. And then I watched the cartoon and I was like, oh, this is kind of, kind of horrible in a way. I didn't really like the cartoon because the comic book was so much darker. But you know what? I went with it anyways and I fell fully in love with the new look of the Ninja Turtles in the cartoon. And then I started playing the arcade games and I really liked that stuff. I really did. And then, but you know, during the same time, I'm playing Streets of Rage on the Genesis and loving every second of it. They're both beat-em-ups and they're both really good looking. Uh, they're both updated versions of the original classic games. Which one do I prefer? I'm gonna pick one. Streets of Rage 4. I'm picking that. And that's not to take away from Shredder's Revenge. I think that's a heck of a great game. Incredible moves, beautiful animation. Everything is going for that great soundtrack. Streets of Rage is so dear to my heart and one that I grew up with and it means so much to me. Like Streets of Rage 1 was really good. 2 cemented it for me. 3, not so much. 4 was a bit of a return. And I'm gonna pick four because I played it more. And I played it with uh, so many of my friends. I played it with my wife. I, I really like playing Streets of Rage uh, 4. I really like the, the updated music by Yuzo Koshiro. I think he did a really great job. Never mind all the other composers in there, but I like him the best in there. I like the hand-drawn graphics. I thought they did a really good update. And yes, it's not the pixels of the past, but I still think they did it. A heck of a great service, and I've got to go with Streets of Rage 4. Hey yo, Dennis here, here to talk about two series that were all the rage back when beat-em-ups and fighting games dominated the market. Now Shredder's Revenge and Streets of Rage 4 managed to recapture that magic by being two of the best games in the genre. But which is better? How could one possibly choose between the most radical of turtles and the streets that are all the rage? Well, that's what we're here to do. Let's determine this with a simple best out of three. First off, presentation. Both games kill it with their own distinct styles and Shredder's Revenge has a more pixel-based sprite look 
that harkens back to the old games while successfully capturing the look and vibe of the old cartoon. And as a fan of that cartoon and the old movies and comic books, there is a lot to love here. It's fan service galore. Now, Streets of Rage 4 has a more modern style, which I'll be frank, I'm not normally a fan of. In particular, this flat looking style of sprite work. That looks like paper cutouts moving across the screen. Like something you'd see in a browser based flash game on Newgrounds back in the day. That said, the art direction here totally saves it. The lighting and atmosphere from stage to stage really puts you into the action, and each stage is environment also has a nice refreshing look and feel, so I actually really dig it. Whereas Shredder's Revenge, many stages kind of just blend together. That said, they are filled with all the charm that comes along with the voice acting throughout, which is totally awesome. As far as music goes, both games nail it. I do like how Streets of Rage 4's music is dynamic as you progress through the stage, but on the other hand, Shredder's Revenge has Ghostface Killa rapping about Little Caesars. Presentation is a tie. <laughs> Story. But you know what? Who plays a beat em up for a story anyway? Ty. So it all comes down to the almighty gameplay. Both are a hell of a lot of fun, I must say. Shredder's Revenge really brings me back to pumping in quarters and mashing away with up to six players. It's one big pizza party on one of those six player arcade cabinets. The combat is rather simple with each character having only one combo, but there's also tag team moves, which is a nice touch. And this is where Streets of Rage 4 really shines. Not only is the game loaded with much more content, more modes, and more unlockables, the combat itself is a lot more rich and nuanced. You have eight great characters to play with and a whole slew of normal and special moves. And you can perform your own custom chain combos. The game also provides a healthy amount of challenge, especially when it comes to the bosses. Streets of Rage 4 is more skill based, and while I could see myself jumping back into Shredder's Revenge for some multiplayer fun, Streets of Rage 4 is the one I can see myself going back to more often. So which game do I ultimately think is the better game? Both games are at the top of their beat em up class, but the more in depth gameplay and the amount of content, which further adds to Streets of Rage 4's replayability, has it coming out on top. And that's coming from a Final Fight fan. I gotta go with Streets of Rage 4. First off, I just want to thank our friend Jim for inviting me back for another collab video. Today we're going to be talking about Streets of Rage 4 versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Starting off with Streets of Rage 4, I did enjoy the game, however I wish it would have kept the same Genesis graphics that we got in 1, 2, and 3, as well as the music. There was something about the music in this game that just wasn't that memorable, and the way it plays that just didn't give me those same magical feelings that I got with Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3, or Bare Knuckles 1, 2, and 3. I own all of those games and I replayed them when Streets of Rage 4 came out and it just didn't give me that same feeling. I definitely did not want to pick this game back up after I beat it and that was the complete opposite feeling I got when I played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. I've literally beaten this game about 12 times. I own it on the PlayStation 5, the Xbox, my PC, my Steam Deck. Just about anywhere you can own this game, I have it. I love the fact that they make it so easy for you to jump in a game with your friend and jump right out if you have to do something. Most people use their cozy games or casual games they play are normally like The Sims or Animal Crossing. For me, it's Shredder's Revenge. I just love the way this game looks, the way it plays, the music. 
Me and my homie T-Belly play this game all the time. I love the fact that you can play with six people online at a time. And it is as chaotic as it sounds, but it's also really fun. I love the fact that there's so many New York City elements in this game. My favorite part is being able to fight the Statue of Liberty. Yes, you get to fight the Statue of Liberty. And my only teeny tiny complaint with Shredder's Revenge is that it's a little too easy for my liking, but I much more prefer Shredder's Revenge over Streets of Rage 4. Also, thank you again to our friend Jim for inviting me back for this video. Like I said before, it's, uh, you made it hard for me. Okay, that's what she said, uh, Jim. Uh, back in the 80s, the first time I played that spectacular Konami arcade cabinet, I was thrilled, thrilled, I'm sorry, I was thrilled uh, because of the, the graphics. It reminds me a little when Konami was in the, was the granddaddy of beat-em-ups with their X-Men with not only four co-op gameplay but six co-op gameplay but yes I'm, I, I know that's besides the point the thing is that uh, I was always a huge fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and uh, for the best part of a decade they were my favorite superheroes I know they're not superheroes but you get the gist of it and um, I grew up playing the, all the NES games, the arcade port for the NES. But as a kid, uh, it, was, it was awesome for me. It, it only had two player co-op, but like I couldn't complain. It was the closest thing we had home to an arcade. But anyway, yes, obviously then the Super Nintendo came with Turtles in Time and it blew my frigging mind. And I know the, the TMNT franchise and had like a couple of lackluster games uh, for the GameCube and for the PS2. Actually, I it wasn't like I wasn't a fan, but I it my my love kind of you know dimmed down a bit. And um, obviously uh, they vindicated themselves with Shredder's Revenge. You know, they went way over the heads uh, with the uh, chaotic and addictive gameplay, all the characters. April O'Neil was a freaking character. I mean, that's something that obviously nobody was expecting. Nobody asked for that, but we're not complaining here. And now, obviously, the counterpart for this is Street of Rage. Now, I was a Nintendo kid in the big old console wars. But I played Sega Genesis, you know, with my neighbors, my cousin. And uh, the first Street of Rage that I played actually was Street of Rage 2. And even to this day, it's my favorite Street of Rage ever. And um, Street of Rage 4, that, I mean, it is. Uh, we were waiting for that game since, literally since the 90s. I don't know what happened to the franchise, but it was dormant for practically ever. And uh, Streets of Rage 4, I think they did a fantastic job. Obviously, I love also the art style. Uh, they had a couple of new, no, I wouldn't say like gameplay mechanics, but you know, new moves and stuff like that. Uh, they bring back Adam, and uh, yeah, man, it, 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 it was awesome. And uh, I really have a, a soft spot for Streets of Rage 2 and its soundtrack. I still listen to the soundtrack of Streets of Rage 2 every freaking day with a couple of you know, peppered soundtracks from Streets of Rage 3. Uh, but I know you guys are gonna wanna crucify me, but I think I'm gonna go with Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Um, because I think it's a little more fun, even I think even the, the gameplay, the replay value, it's a little over the shards. So anyway, that's my two cents. And I appreciate, uh, obviously, my buddy Jim Kitch, all you can, for having me here. And let's see what do my other uh, ca uh, cast members, my other friends from Mad Panic Gaming, think about this uh, versus between franchises, actually between games. 
Hey everybody, it's your good boy Papa TK coming to you live from the Mad Panic Gaming Kid Show You Kid channel. How y'all doing, everybody? Anyways, uh, you guys have probably seen everybody's mom and dad and sister's cousin, uncle already review uh, Streets of Rage 4 and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's uh, Revenge. You guys already know about the graphics, the you know the the graphics, the background music. Uh, the gameplay you already know that so I only have three minutes to describe what I liked about this so let me describe what I liked and uh, You know how they could improve it first off being that the uh, streets of rage 4 the game was long I love that the character design really cool soundtrack awesome uh, Graphics feel like old Xbox cell shaded game freaking cool, but Playing it single player is hard. It's really hard, and I I failed on the ending boss three times, and then I gave up. And uh, yeah, I don't like it how you can't run in the game too. Let the characters run, you know. And uh, there's no charge. Like you know, if you hit people, it doesn't matter if you finish a combo. They're still not like uh, stopped or paralyzed, and I don't like that. So uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. And as for Shredder's Revenge. Uh, you know, graphics look amazing. I love how it's pixelated, and it looks just like an arcade, like an updated arcade version. I love how there's so many enemies on the screen at once. I love the animations. I love the opening for it. You know, uh, you know the opening with the original turtle song. The BGM is freaking amazing, and uh, yeah, I mean, like I loved all the different combos. The things I didn't like about that though is that they have that long tutorial at the beginning and it's like if you have all these different moves for the characters teach us throughout the game don't just do it at the beginning because most people like me are gonna skip it so yeah you know um, so I didn't like that um, also the what is it like you know again when you hit people oomph there's no there's no stopping power even if you do a special or whatever and I really didn't like that in this game I thought it was shitty for that reason also, again, like, make April Splinter bonus characters. Make us earn them. Don't just give us uh, them at the beginning. You only got Casey Jones as a bonus character, and then I don't remember what games uh, it was in the past. Maybe Jim can remind me, but when you find an extra character, when you, like, s rescue them or whatever, have the character, like, AI follow and fight with you for, like, 30 seconds or a minute. Like, make the bonuses in the game actually more fun and rewarding, you know? And, uh, yeah, so if I had to choose which game is better, I would say Turtles by far, just because it's more fun, it's more enjoyable, and, you know, I think you'll have more of a good time, uh, even if you don't know the franchise at all. And, uh, as for Streets of Rage 4, I mean, to be honest, I'd rather play Double Dragon Neon, because at least in that game, you can run, oh, there's my timer, you can run, and you actually get rewarded for being able to dodge enemies you know you like once you learn the controls you can learn how to you know get around enemies and you learn how to fight better and streets of rage 4 i didn't feel like any of that was a thing so anyway that's my quick review and uh yeah go out and buy double dragon neon <laughs> and uh shredder's revenge thanks jim and uh yeah uh see you guys yep bye and there you go everybody you heard from my guests i hope you enjoyed uh, listening to them, thank you to everybody that joined me today. And now for my uh, two cents on the subject, just in case anybody cares. Uh, TMNT versus Streets of Rage 4. Uh, really kind of difficult to choose a favorite because I really enjoyed both games. I played through both of them uh, multiple times. Uh, Shredder's Revenge, uh, as of the filming of this, has some DLC coming up. So there's going to be more playable characters and there's going to be more gameplay modes and stages and challenges and it looks like you can even morph into uh, other various uh, characters like boss characters, Rocksteady and Bebop and others. Uh, so that's going to be really cool. That's kind of an advantage that Streets of Rage 4 has uh, as of right now over Shredder's Revenge is that it's had um, a, a couple of rounds of DLC to really uh, beef up the gameplay and give you more playable characters and stuff. Uh, that's really cool but for me I had to break it down uh, into four different categories, the visuals, the sound design, uh, the use of the license, which I think is really uh, important with games like this that are kind of nostalgic, and uh, uh, ultimately the gameplay, uh, which is better. Uh, so starting with the visuals, I think both games look really good. Uh, I can't really say one is better than the other. 
um, because they have their own individual strengths. Uh, Streets of Rage 4 was sort of criticized for not keeping um, the pixel art style of the original Streets of Rage games. They went with a more like 2D hand-drawn look, which I think for the most part looks really good. Um, there are a lot of areas where the backgrounds are really detailed and they look excellent and they're, they're colorful and they're very elaborate and I think it looks really good. There are other parts of the game though where it's kind of drab, kind of generic looking, not too terribly inspired, but I think for the most part when it looks good, it looks really good. On the other hand, TMNT Shredder's Revenge has a really great look like all throughout the game. It doesn't really have any weak spots. Uh, it does go more for the pixelated look, which I think was a really good idea. But at the same time, it's very bright and colorful and still maintains um, a very cartoonish look, which I think is very fitting for the subject matter. Uh, so I think uh, while Streets of Rage 4, when it looks really good, it looks better, I think, than Shredder's Revenge, but there are those spots where it's pretty weak, whereas Shredder's Revenge just looks good uh, the entire time and is a great looking game in general. So in terms of visuals, I can't really pick a favorite. They're both uh, quite different, but I think they both look amazing. Um, so yeah, I would say visuals is kind of a tie for me. Different, but both very good. Sound design though, on the other hand, um, isn't really even a close contest for me. Shredder's Revenge, I think, has the much, much better soundtrack, um, which is kind of surprising because uh, a big appeal of the original Streets of Rage games was their really, really good soundtracks by Yuzo Koshiro. Um, you could say that Streets of Rage 3 had uh, kind of a weird soundtrack. It didn't really hold the candle uh, to the first two games, but in particular, Streets of Rage 1 and 2 had just some really classic soundtracks. Some of the best of the 16-bit generation, in fact. And Turtles in Time, I would say, also had an amazing soundtrack. Another one of my favorite 16-bit soundtracks, in fact. But this time around, I would say Streets of Rage 4, they, there are a few tracks in there that are really good, specifically there are some that were done by Yuzo Koshiro and still have kind of like that classic feel of his, his tunes from the 90s, but for the most part I found the, the soundtrack in Streets of Rage 4 to be kind of generic, kind of forgettable, whereas uh, Shredder's Revenge, I mean it became one of my favorite game soundtracks, period. Definitely one of my absolute favorites of like the past, I don't know, like decade. It's really, really good. All of the stages have really catchy stage themes. Uh, in particular, uh, I like Big Apple 3 p.m. I like a few Screws Loose, Rumble in the Zoo. Those are really good. And then all of the guest musicians they had on there, like Johnny Atma and uh, Ghostface Killer and Raekwon from the Wu-Tang Clan. Uh, that was really cool. And Mike Patton from Faith No More. Um, that was excellent, so uh, yeah, for me there's really no contest if it's music versus music, uh, Shredder's Revenge, much, much better soundtrack. Uh, use of the license though, this was really important because when you hear about a new Streets of Rage game or a new Turtles game like 30 years after the last ones were released, um, or at least the ones they're following up, really Streets of Rage 4 is more of a spiritual successor, a follow-up to Streets of Rage 2. Uh, it, at least it feels that way to me. And Shredder's Revenge, there have been a bunch of Turtles games in the interim, but Shredder's Revenge really is a sequel to Turtles in Time. So if you're gonna have sequels to games like that that have this really strong, like, uh, nostalgic pull for people my age and older, you really wanna use the license well. Shredder's Revenge does that a lot better. I mean, just the sheer amount of characters because that's the most memorable thing about Ninja Turtles is the characters. So they crammed a ton in here, not just the playable characters, but all the boss characters as well and bringing in the uh, voice talent from the original TMNT cartoon and really just throwing in all the detail and really hammering home, like hitting that nostalgic nerve for people who grew up with TMNT. Uh, that's awesome. Streets of Rage, on the other hand, I feel like as a license, as a series, Streets of Rage was always known for its, its cool visuals, soundtrack, and the really great gameplay. The characters and the story, things like that, the lore of Streets of Rage were never the selling point. If I'm being honest, like I've always kind of found uh, the characters, uh, the playable characters, and also the villains in Streets of Rage 
to be kind of generic and, and, and boring. They're not terribly interesting. It's all of the aspects of the game itself, visuals, uh, sound, and gameplay. Not the characters, not the story. None of that is, is too terribly interesting. Uh, that being said, they did bring back all of those characters from Streets of Rage 2, all of your random bad guys and your boss characters, and they introduced some new characters too with ties to the uh, characters from the original games, so that's really cool. But just in general, I think Turtles, they did a much better job of using the license very well, and again, uh, keeping that, like, that nostalgic uh, feeling there and uh, just bringing in all the stuff people really love about TMNT. Um, it's kind of an unfair comparison because TMNT has a lot more to work with, way longer history, way more characters and things like that, but uh, definitely just as like an overall like feeling, I guess you could say, uh, Shredder's Revenge I think is the better game. Um, and then gameplay, probably the most contentious part of this because I think we can all agree that these games, they both have nice graphics, they both have uh, nice sound design, though one is much better than the other. Uh, they're both just really fun, great games, but the gameplay, um, though they're both beat-em-ups, is rather different. Uh, Shredder's Revenge, uh, much more arcadey, much more pick-up-and-play, just beat up a bunch of bad guys. It's kind of a button masher. Um, you do have some special abilities that are pretty cool. You can string together a bunch of long combos, and there are challenges to complete, but in general, the fun of this game is that a whole ton of foot soldiers fill up the screen, and then you just mash the buttons and beat their brains out and send them flying all over the place, and you play with up to the six players, and that's all really fun. So it's just like simple, solid, fun, straightforward, arcadey, beat em up action, whereas Streets of Rage 4, uh, deeper gameplay. It's slower paced, it's more methodical, but the combo system is much deeper. Uh, the gameplay mechanics in general are just like much deeper. Uh, if you spend a lot of time with it, you can start uh, just racking up these huge combos and pulling off some like moves and and one move leading into the other and it all looks really cool and it's just it's got more depth to it I guess you could say and that was the um, the general when I uh, hear, hear people say that they like Streets of Rage 4 better than Shredder's Revenge that's usually what they're hammering home is the depth of the gameplay uh, the gameplay is just like a lot more meat on the bones whereas uh, Shredder's Revenge is a much simpler game to get into um, and that is actually why I prefer the gameplay of Shredder's Revenge. Uh, I love both of these games, like I said, both great beat-em-ups and a uh, great series of beat-em-ups. But as far as like my personal preferences for games, I am much more of like a simple, arcadey, straightforward kind of guy. I like that Shredder's Revenge, you just pick your characters, you go in, lots of enemies come on screen, and you just beat them up and you just knock them all over the place. There's not really too much complex combos and things to keep in your head. You can just instantly have fun, uh, regardless of your age or your skill level. You can adjust difficulty and things like that, but generally speaking, very easy game to get into, very simple and a ton of fun. Uh, beat up a bunch of bad guys, and then you get these really great boss battles, even though, again, the boss battles are made pretty easy uh, by using your super moves. You can just like spam those super moves over and over again, or you, know, you can just choose not to do that. You don't have to do that if you want to make the game a little more challenging. Um, but generally speaking, yes, I do prefer the gameplay of Shredder's Revenge because I do prefer uh, that simple pick-up-and-play style that the gameplay has. Uh, so I love Streets of Rage 4. I love the gameplay, love the graphics, all that stuff. It is a lot of fun, but if I could only play one of these games, if you, you know, in the middle of the afternoon I have a spare hour on my hands, I want to play a beat-em-up, chances are I'm going to play Shredder's Revenge. Uh, over Streets of Rage 4 just because of what I said, the fun, simple, pick-up-and-play gameplay uh, that is much more suited to my uh, preferences as a gamer. Um, but that's it, so while I love both games, I think Shredder's Revenge is the better game. Uh, but like I said, down in the comments, you let me know what you think. Uh, I'm sure uh, everyone has some pretty strong opinions on this, or maybe not, maybe you don't really care, or maybe you like them both just as much uh, because they both have their own strengths and weaknesses. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Thanks again to all of my guests that joined me today. Um, it's always nice to have uh, friends around YouTube that'll uh, jump on for you know little videos like this whenever I ask them to. Uh, links to their channels will all be down in the description, so go and check them out for more great gaming content from all of these fine folks. And uh, again, thanks everybody for watching, and I do hope you will come back for the next one. So take care everybody. Goodbye.